Hi again, it's Heidi and Louie from Roots and Culture. Welcome back to our channel and to another episode of Our Allotment Plot. No. has happily volunteered to come and help me. <laughs> I wouldn't say happily volunteered, but he has said he'd come and do Laughing. a little bit today. Uh, and I've got plenty of jobs where he can help me. So stay tuned for what we've got in store. Oh, oh I wish that tooth had come out with that apple. <laughs> it's hanging on, on its last few threads. Right, so today, We've got things like, what have we got to do today? Now we've got still got some stuff to harvest. We've got an apple Lots tree things. that's full of little crab apples. I don't know what type they are, but we need to pick them because they're all just falling on the floor. We've got pumpkins. We've got pumpkins. We've got eating apples. We've got, I think we've even still got a few cooking apples to pick. We've got beetroot, I noticed, that need picking. And I don't know what's inside my poly polytunnel at the moment. I think probably not a lot left to pick in there. So what we might do, Louis, is get rid of our old tomatoes and plant something new. He's doing his best to be annoying today. Stop it, please. I don't like that noise. I don't get it. No, it's the worst noise in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to help me then, Louis? Oh, is this the worst? Yes. You are? Oh, oh is this good the worst boy. sound in the world? Oh, yeah, no, it's it. not. What you were doing before is the work. Right. right. I'm not going to let Louis help me because he's just chewing in me, yeah? Okay. Uh, and I don't like that noise. No! Right. Let me help. So if you're going to help then, you're going to help me by picking some apples. Yeah, we might even make some juice with these ones because although they're eating apples, they're not that sweet. They're a little bit tart and they're alright, but I, I prefer a sweet kind of apple made. Do you, Louis? Yeah, we like the red ones. I like the red ones. And I found the red ones are really the good. Ones. Okay, well, maybe we can eat some of them ones then. Yeah. The red ones, for those heartburn acid reflux sufferers, just kill my heartburn dead. So, an apple a day really does keep the doctor away. So, actually, these have turned red in the last couple of weeks because the mm -hmm. last time I picked one, they were just green. So, Probably they weren't fully ripened, but they look like they're ready to pick because there's oh. some there that have gone a bit rotten. I don't like white fruit. Whatever's left of the nice juicy red ones, red stroke green ones, we'll have and uh, maybe just make some juice of them. Who knows? We would appreciate if you like and subscribe and comment down below and please share. Thank you. Are we ready, Louie? To do. To pick some apples. Yeah, come on then, let's do it. Alright, how about you just shake the tree? Well, how about you just then pick them, mate? Because we might get all the rotten ones falling on our heads. Yeah, so any that fall on the floor, we'll pick up. Oh, look at it's that one. It's got a big lump in it. That looks lovely. Do you want to put that in the bucket? Right. Louie, what are we going to do now? What are you pointing at? Crab. Crab apples, I think that's what they are. They look like little apricots, but they're not. I think they're apples. Um, let's have a look. Can you oh, see why? all these little yellow? These little yellow apple things? They, they're definitely apples. Because I can see at the bottom they've got like a little... Hole. Um, I'll show you what I mean. See that there, like at the bottom of an apple? The little stringy bit. That's not a very good shot. There. So yeah, they are little apples of some description, and we'll pick them, and then we'll decide what we can, what we're gonna do with them, don't we? Look what happened. No. How are we gonna get these out? I don't really know what to do, do with these. How do we get these out? Does anyone have any suggestions? Comment down below. Yeah, and let us know what you would do with these little yellow. How did you, Apples. viewers, also comment down below how you open this? Ow. So there's, these have oh. obviously grown inside. 
Watch your fingers. So much sense. It'll have a, oh, there, look. There you go. You don't need to do it anymore. <laughs> Why? Oh, How about we just put them in here, so... Yes. I'm going to put some in there. Then... Oh. <laughs> 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 you putting me in the bird feeder? Nah. Oh, my ah. Like ten by ten. One, two, three. Let me try. Out. One, two, three. Four people. We've absolutely filled the bucket right up to the top and there's still just loads. Absolutely loads still left on this tree. And like I say, I don't really even know what to do with them. I'd like to think I could make something or at least have a little bit of an experiment, but rather than waste them, I definitely will see if there's anyone locally who would like to take some because I'm sure there'll be somebody who can make use of them better than what I can. Thank you for helping, mate. Oh, them apples are amazing, aren't they? So what are you going to do now, then? You're going to draw for a bit? Uh, yeah. Yeah? So whilst Louis is busy drawing, I'm just going to have a look and see how my beetroot are looking, because they are, from this distance, looking pretty good. I've got some chard that look like they need picking and possibly my pumpkins might need picking that's a job for you Louie so I recently planted some more well sown some more beetroot seeds in this bed and I can see that they're sprouting and looking pretty good to be honest there's a little lonely chard there that I might as well get picked as well because well otherwise it might just bolt and go to seed like the other ones did so I'll have that one and over here where I, I did my beet leaves and stuff I can't see many beet leaves yet, but I can see just a lot of beetroot. Um, and some look okay, so I'm going to just pull some out and see if the, if the welder should be ready by now. little harvest of beetroot there I don't know how many exactly I'd say about maybe 10 um, the other ones are still a little bit small to be honest so I'm just gonna leave them and let them do the thing and if they don't amount to anything I'll just come back and pick the leaves at a later date but I'm happy with that now chard oh, there's a little ladybird on there I don't know whether you should pick chard by hand or with a knife I've seen some people just pull it off and all that rhubarb you're supposed to just pull it so if it's the same kind of thing I'll just maybe just snap some leaves off here snap a, snap a few off and uh, use these in something still so getting our little harvest which is really really nice I just wish it was all year round but we do live in the UK and our weather's starting to really take a turn for the worse right now i know it's the season i know it's kind of meant to be this way but i don't enjoy the cold weather at all um i'm gonna leave them little ones there maybe they'll get a bit bigger we've got a few nice ones there um but yeah the weather's starting to definitely get colder now i'm having to put my heating on which i don't like doing um but i think 
there's meant to be some bad weather on the way so I'm glad we've come today while it's still a little bit fine to get finished off and maybe sort of I don't want to say it maybe start looking at wrapping things up for this season oh and of course I've got my little green chard as well we'll have a few leaves of this one why not So yeah, we've got pumpkins, Louise. I think they are pumpkins. Although I have seen people referring to these What's types the as pumpkin? squash. I don't know. When I bought the packet of seeds, I bought a packet of pumpkin seeds. And they're the green pumpkins with the orange in it. But I went and threw the packet away, which was stupid. Because I don't know what variety they are. But I think they could be crown prints. And I've, I've seen them. Crown print squash. So, I don't know, you tell me, are they pumpkin or are they squash? Because I'm thinking, they're not that big, but I think they're ready to be picked. So, they possibly are squash, but it doesn't matter, because I like squash, we like pumpkins, so we've got a double win there. So, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the pumpkins, these ones, and I don't, that's not getting any bigger, and the actual pumpkin plants is dying back. You see, the leaves are starting to wilt. So, I think... Looking at this actual stem, um, that it's starting, well it's pretty much ready for harvest. So we might have that one today. And there is another one somewhere, oh there, hanging up on a, on a tight. Um, which is actually caught up quite a lot in size, which makes me think that that one, the other one's not going to get any bigger. So I think we might have them off today and we'll see if there's any more. Sadly, I don't think there is because I can just see a load of leaves and not many other fruits or what fruits I have had are very small like this one here. See that one? It's not, not even amounted to anything and in these cooler temperatures it'll just die off anyway so we'll just pick what we have and take it home. So Louis going to do the honours. Wait there, wait, 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 wait. Louis going to do the honours and cut these little pumpkin -y squash things. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Louie? Yeah. Right, go for it then. Top of it. Yay, yeah. hey, there we go. But now look what happened. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I guess I could cut this. Yeah, just be careful because there's little sharp bits on the actual pumpkin star. Pick it up then. How much does it weigh? We've got a ten pounder. Bar that out. <laughs> so heavy. Oh, I can't even hold it, it's so heavy. Is it really? Yeah, really. Oh. oh. Is that one heavy as well? Ow, wow. <laughs> so there we are. There we go. Our little, our little oh. harvest. Now it's time to see how my polytunnel is doing. I think it's time to get rid of my tomato plants now. Alright then. Let's see how things are in here. Yeah, me, me tomatoes have just about given up, I think. Although there are, there's still some fruit coming. But I just don't see the point in waiting for a lot of this to ripen. Yeah, some of these are starting to go spotty. I think I might just get rid of all of these round here. looking a lot better I've took the um, courgette plants out as well because they'd had it there was a couple of little courgettes on them but they'd look like it looked like they'd been eaten so I just got rid of them along with the tomatoes and along with the little what looked like a, some kind of melony plant um, yeah and it's just you know freed up a lot of more space and I can hopefully get some more seeds in here now now my kohlrabi is still going, so I'm going to leave that in. I've got some more radicchio that I didn't like that radicchio that I picked a few weeks ago. It was just so bitter. I think I ate it raw and I think you're supposed to cook it, but I don't know what I would eat that with. Probably 
if I, if I was to pick this kohlrabi here, I'm um, sorry, radicchio here, I might try again to actually cook it. What with? Like, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't like wasting what I've grown. It's a shame, really. But it did taste like dandelion leaves or probably worse. One of me um, viewers, Tony, bless him, commented on one of my other videos um, when I showed my tomatoes with blight, a recent one it was, and he suggested actually trying to grow charlotte potatoes, which he said if I do it sort of now, I should have a little harvest by Christmas, and I was pretty tempted by the idea actually, but what I'm frightened of is because there's been blight in the polytunnel, that the potatoes might be affected by blight. Now I don't know if the, you know, the cold temperatures, which which are due, would possibly kill the blight infection. I have no idea, but I didn't want to risk it because I thought rather than sort of risk a failed crop, even though it would have only been a small one inside here, maybe I should just sort of look towards doing some other things. And I've got some kale. I've got some kale, um, and it says nutritious baby leaf. Or winter veg so I might put some kale in and also maybe next month some some beans some broad beans and I don't really know what else I'm still sort of like looking to see what I can actually grow for spring um, that would fit in this polytunnel because I do have some uh, little cabbage spring cabbage on the on the go at the moment which I need to prick out because yeah, they've, they've germinated, but they're not very big. I need to re repot them um, before I plant them out. Um, but any suggestions would be appreciated as to what I could possibly grow that won't get affected by the fact that there's been tomato blight in here. Uh, just a bit worried about that, really. Uh, I don't know, like, again, for next season, if I do put tomatoes in here, will I get blight back because there's been blight? Or will the, the heat possibly kill the infection I have no idea and I don't really know what to do in terms of like sterilization I don't know how I go about cleaning my polytunnel I don't really know because it's it's not a greenhouse so it's slightly different um, but any anybody have any ideas or any knowledge or expertise or any experience please comment down below I'd appreciate some, some advice for that with that so the kale kale seeds I think they grow quite big so I'm just going to spread them out a little bit oops, and just let them do the thing, get them watered and just leave them and then come winter I might have some winter veg. So that's my polytunnel watered and swept out kale's in so i'll just leave that to do its thing like i say and just come and give it the odd water i suppose uh, i've got some turmeric which i planted in there actually put it i planted it in a pot and i just stuck it in here because it was warm and i don't know when that will be ready it might already be ready who knows i might just give it till it turns a bit colder and then get it whipped out and see how much i've got in there but I'm pleased, I'm pleased what this polytunnel's brought us this year. It's been great to be honest. Hiya. Hello. Bye bye. Right, well we're all done for today. We've, we have done, I think, everything that I said I was going to do. Yeah, I think we've completed everything. Baby's just woken up. Right on time. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed our video again. <laughs> and yeah please like share subscribe and just leave us a comment like hearing from our viewers we like to know that you're there and uh, yeah see you next time bye for now bye Ta -ta.